Alright guys, so I'll show you real quick how to edit text with Elementor. You can navigate to the page and either click edit with Elementor or go to the page in the back end. I'll show you how to do the long way. Uh, go to your pages. We're going to edit the home page. You can click edit with Elementor here or you can go to edit in the page when you're editing the entire page and click edit with Elementor there. So basically there's three ways to get to the Elementor editor. Once you're in there, to edit text, all you have to do is click on to, on the page, click on the text, and then it's like you're writing in a Word document, right? So, optimize for revenue as you scale, exclamation mark, smiley face, right? Once we're done with that, we can come down here and click the green update button, and that'll push the changes to the live environment, okay? Um, you can also save it as a draft, you can save the whole page as a template. Um, we're not going to save this because I don't think Process Pro wants a smiley face on their home page. So, but just to show you, you can click update, and load for a sec. When it's grayed out, that means updates have been pushed through. And that's it. Okay, to edit text on a post from the home page, we can go to our post page, edit any of these posts. We'll do this one, click edit, we'll bring up the post, and then all you have to do is type in here, blah, 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 right? Um, unless, so these posts depend on templates, so unless you have a good reason to change the, the base layout that you see here, so like a heading, a text, and then inserting um, images or whatever with, with um, WordPress's Gutenberg editor, I would recommend not editing with Elementor. Otherwise, basically you're making every page, I'm sorry, you're making every post custom instead of them all following the same template. So I would use this editor to edit the posts. And then when you're finished editing the post, you've added your images, videos, whatever you want to do, you can click update over here. And that'll update the whole post. That's it. It's live. We can view the post.